Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in again. Let's see what we can do. We're at a minus three streak. Holy hell. That's what that's what happens with modded sometimes. We got regular Maggie. We've done her recently. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm saying heck it. No no to the randomizer. I am going to play as Eden. Because I feel like playing as Eden. Sorry, randomizer. And we're gonna try and go like mother, I guess. Um Dead Sea Scrolls and Mum's Eye. Oh god, we also got this. Uh the Book of Sin. Oh, we got a key. Not bad, we got a key. I don't mind it. Yeah, this isn't a bad start. Stats are, are very, very good to start, actually. I'm quite a big fan of the, the stats that we're currently on. But yes, I kind of just felt like Eden. I, I don't know if I need a mod to make Eden be able to start with modded items. You used to have to have that in um, AB+, but I don't know if that's still a thing. I can't remember how many modded item Eden stars I've actually had. I don't remember it being a lot. Either way. Um, oh, shoot the wolf. Okay. That's kind of nice. Free kill there. Oh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm recording in the morning and I'm feeling good. I'm, uh, I'm on a bit of a high at the minute right now. And that's not because I'm actually high. That's because last night I got to have one of the best pizzas ever. Um, <laughs> and it's just, I'm very happy about it because it was very, very good. Oh, pinking she is. is pretty nice here. Although, so annoying when he does this for pinking she is. Um, I need to stay, like, above or below him, really, don't I? But yes, uh, I had one of the best pizzas of my life. Um, this, this is a question for you guys before we get before I get into this, because I'm getting into this. Um, what's all your, like, best... Like, what's your best takeaway slash restaurant food ever? I don't mean, like, what's your favourite. I mean, like, what was the best time that you've had, like, takeaway or um, food at a restaurant? Because, like... For me, there's definitely a few standouts. Oh god, this, this room's a bit spicy. We'll definitely be taking the apple here. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a few standouts, but this this pizza's one of them. So th where I live, there's a place, um, a, a pizza place called Rudy's. This is not an easy room. Oh my god, this is not an easy room at all. Uh, where I live, there's a place called Rudy's. Oh my god, this one second. I've got to focus on this room. Stay at the top. The, the person that makes the dumpling rooms is just evil. <laughs> It's just so many spikes. Why with the water as well? I can't even hit this dude. There you go. Okay, so so yeah, well, as I was saying, there's a, there's a place called um, called Rudy's, and believe it or not, this is a place in the UK. It is what on earth is that? One second. Tears have a chance of inflicting glitching on enemies. Glitched enemies behave like broken bone. That's super cool. I love the idea of that. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. It's a pretty high chance as well. It's a pretty high chance. Okay, I gotta say I like this a lot. Um, but yeah, like believe it or not, this is a place in the UK. Maggie's face is pretty nice. Yet it has the re actually ranked by. I'm not sure what body it's ranked by, but it's actually like officially ranked as the tenth best pizza place in the world. Guess where the other nine are. I'll give you two seconds to guess. Yep, it's Italy. The n the top nine are in Italy. And number ten is in the UK in the city I live in. So as you can imagine, the pizza from there is pretty heckin' good. And I, like, they ain't, they ain't messing around when they say it's good pizza. I mean, it, it is literally the best pizza I have ever eaten in my entire life. And they do takeaway. So I got it on takeaway yesterday. Obviously, the quality is somewhat diminished when you get it as a takeaway. But it's still much, much better than any normal takeaway pizza could be. Um, so it was really, really good. I was very, very happy with that. But, like, I went in person. I think I went for my birthday. I think my girlfriend took me for my birthday the first time I went. And honestly, yeah. Life-changing. Life-changing. We don't, we don't have any uh, bombs right now, which is kind of a problem. Um, it, it's just... It was... Like, it's the best... I'm going to use this again. Oh, I was hoping for getting pinking shears to go over the gap. I might have even got it in that room and forgotten about it. Anyways, health isn't looking great right now, I've got to say. Uh, hopefully the um, the slowdown mechanic helps us out. I don't know if it works on bosses. It seems to not be working. Um, But yeah, so that's like, that's like one of my top sort of restaurant experience foods. But another one, this one's a little weirder. Um, so, a, a long while ago, um, now, probably like, like, 
four or five years ago at this point. M maybe not quite that long. But I I've been, anyways, I've, I've been with my girlfriend like seven and a bit years, getting on for eight years at this point. And a good few years ago, we went on holiday in the UK with her parents. Her parents are like avid UK holidayers. My parents, the opposite. They're like going abroad, but oh god damn it. We're going to take some damage here. Colossomir is not, not a good one for us to be fighting right now. Um... Yeah, they're avid UK holidays, so they're like, they'll go around to cottages and little, nice little quaint villages in the countryside and stuff. And it is really nice, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I went on like a few big walks and stuff like that. Uh, but, one of the cool things, or one of the really nice things about uh, about UK holidays is the, the, the food, like in the UK, is actually pretty diverse and you get quite a lot of good stuff. But also, pub food is like a, a, a mainstay classic of the UK. I mean, anyone that lives here or has been here will probably know that there is a pub on every corner of everywhere. Um, I'm going to take a real big gamble here. And I am very upset with the gamble that I took. Deck of cards gave me a glitch card, which gave me a stars. Okay, I was really hoping I could manage to make that work. Um, sadly, I cannot. I got goat head at least. I I have to say, not only we're we looking pretty bad on the whole bombing through this door front, but health isn't amazing. <laughs> uh, it's not not the best. But yeah, so like um like you can go to basically any tiny village in the UK, even if all they have is a post stop and a shop, there will always be at least two pubs. Guaranteed. Doesn't matter how small the village is, there will be at least two pubs. So, anyways, um, there was there was a pub there, of course. Um, and my lord, pub food is normally so-so. It's usually it's it it's serv it like it's serviceable. It's decent enough. Um, alabaster box. Hmm. I don't. I don't know why I just bought that bomb, but I'm actually kind of glad that I did because we did we do kind of need it, so <laughs> it kind of worked out. But yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, Rathor Genesis. Genesis. I forgot I could use flight to get that. Um, but yeah, like pub food's normally so-so. It's normally serviceable. It's it's nice enough, but it's never like top shelf stuff. It's it's never the best food you get. But my lord, I had a chicken pie while I was there. And it might just be the best food I have ever eaten. And I <laughs> and I kid you not, I have been chasing, chasing that high ever since. Like, so when you get like a chicken or like meat pie, it always comes with like gravy in it. But this one, it like wasn't gravy. It was like, it was like a white sauce. And like, I know you can get white gravy, but that's it's not what it... What? Did I just get telepills into the ultra secret room? Is that a thing? I've never seen that happen before. Also, why did it have to happen when I'm in ghost form? God damn it. Also, is that a door mimic or is that error room? Because if that's error room, I might want to take it. I've got, I've got a bit of an idea here. A bit of an idea. Okay, so I've got to go back this way. Back this way. Grab this. Back through my mirror, wherever the hell that is. This has been strange. I'm confused. I'll get back to the pie story in a moment. One second. Right. Is that still open on the other way around? It's not. That's brutal. That's savage. You hussy of a game. Right, I've got an idea though. I've got an idea. If I go back through, will it still be open? It better be. That's that's got to be the, the the biggest troll I've ever seen in my life. You have offended me, game. You have offended me. Oh, but but yeah, I don't I don't know what it was. It was like some sort of like special specialist sauce stuff that was like sort of like a a white. What well, I, I really don't know, but it it was just amazing, and I've literally never had anything like it again. And no, like I've ordered, I've ordered before, and I can never find where that. I'm confused. Oh wait, no, it's just this red room. I just got confused. Yeah, it's just because the map's flipped. God damn it. Okay, let's get out of here. Do you know what? I'm gonna go fight my bosses. Not Colossus to me, I don't think, but 
This is so confusing. The map it doesn't, like, minimap API is meant to flip the map, and it's not flipping the map, and it's confusing the ever-living shit out of me. Let's use a stars card to get out of there if things get a bit hairy. If things start looking a bit too bad, I'll go a bit south. God, this, this, um, item is incredible. I would have to say, it doesn't really befit the tier that it's in of tier 1. Because it basically does it on literally every hit. And there's our extra bomb. We've been looking for that. Good. Look at that. Every single one of them. And there's another key as well. Why not? Okay, let's be careful here. Do these guys fly? I don't think these guys fly. I mean, we can use this because we're going to get a charge back at the end of the room. There you go. Oh, we got a trinket in that room somewhere as well, apparently. Mum's bra is kind of good for us here. We can at least get him to split before he uh, starts moving again. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if the split version's better, to be honest, but with flight, we should be fine because we're not having to worry about the poop slick. We've got to really focus on the game for a minute here. But yeah, like, it'd be really interesting to know. Um, I'm definitely not doing Colostomia. Yeah, that's, that's too much for me. Uh, it'd be really interesting to know what your guys' uh, sort of, like, best experience at a restaurant has ever been. I, f I find that fascinating. I find that sort of stuff really cool because it's so different. And it's like, it's it's like, for, for me, like, everyone loves pizza, so pizza's kind of obvious. But with the, with the chicken pie one, chicken pie, I would never, ever, like, rank that as one of my favorite foods by any means. Like, it's not something I always order. It was just something I got on a whim that one time. And it, it, it changed my life. <laughs> no, no, it didn't. But, like, it was so unbelievably good. And I still haven't been able to find something anywhere near as good. Kind of reminds me as well, like, similarly to that. Went on, like, a hike with uh, my girlfriend's parents um, quite a while ago now. Uh, I don't remember when it was. Sadly, we still can't get the Twisted Pair. I'd love to get them. Um quite a while back now, but they took us to this, like, it, it basically it's like a massive, like, road in the middle of nowhere up in the hills. And you walk down it for a while, and you see a single building on a road that's a few, good few miles long. There's nothing else on the road whatsoever. And, um, it turns out it's, it, it, is, a, it is also a pub, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, but, again, that's got to be one of the best pubs I've ever been to. It, um, we went there for, um, like, a, a carvery, like, I don't know if they do carvery in other places, but it's basically, like, a, a roast dinner where, um, I, I feel like I'm over-explaining this, but I don't know if other places have them, so I'm not sure if I am. Uh, but it's essentially, it's like a, a roast dinner, but you, you go to the stand and you, like, pick out how much you want of everything. Um, and you can, like, come back for seconds and stuff. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Carveries are great. Uh... Anyways, it was like one of those, and my god, I've been, we've been there twice now. Uh, the first time I just got like a roast chicken dinner, or, or like a roast turkey dinner, I think it was, because it was around Christmas time, and oh my god, it was amazing. And the portion sizes, holy hell, the portion sizes. It was just obscene how much food they gave you. It's awesome, like for the price as well. That's another thing I, I forgot to mention about this Rudy's Pizza place. That place is also really, really cheap for being the 10th the best pizza place in the world. Very cheap. It's like seven pound for a pizza that's like 12 to 13 inches. Like they're not always the exact same, but it's around like 12, 13 inches for a pizza. And oh my God, yeah, best thing ever. But anyways, yeah, this place, so we went there and we got this like sort of Christmas style dinner and it's it was just incredible and it was so huge and oh my god Isaac's tears god damn this is not a good day for um items like that nice one that's a pretty cool room I like the idea of that one um do we have some drop spiders in here I don't think we do do we do you know what give me um I don't even have enough money for it I might I might see if I can get that at some point and turn my Isaac's tears into consumables Boom, bow. There's a bomb, at least. We got a bomb. Okay. So let's let's try this. Let's 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 do this. Let's go over here. Trash this bad boy. Whoa! That gave me a lot of stuff. I'll be keeping this, thank you. That gave me so much stuff. 
And then with our newfound wealth, we're going to try and re-roll Dead Sea Scrolls into something a little better. It does not re-roll Dead Sea Scrolls. I did not think that was a thing. Okay. For some reason, I still want to bomb it. Okay. Sadly, Dead Sea Scrolls, you are dead to me now. It's unfortunate for you. Would have been nice to, to play along with you, but you are dead to me now. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm such a foodie. Um, if, if you haven't already got that from my videos, any of you that watch regularly probably know that I am. Oh, God, this is not a good room for me. Um, I'm quite the foodie. I, I really enjoy cooking, and I really enjoy eating good food. Um, I, I am the sort of person that I, I can't physically, like, I, I, I can't, if I'm the one buying the food, I can't go for the cheap option. I've got to, I've got to, uh, spend a little extra to get the extra value. Oh my god, I'm gonna, am I gonna die again? Is this gonna be a minus four streak? It really feels like it is gonna be a minus four streak. I don't know, I don't know what my health's looking like right now, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be good. Okay, we got you. Really? You still got away as well, you cook? I'm taking you. I don't care if it kills me. It killed me. Okay. Well, this is a better start. We started with uh, Sacred Heart, Stitches, and um, bombing slot machines will make them drop four times their normal pickups. Doubled. <laughs> All right, then. That's uh, quite the spice. Um, we also got Stitches, which is incredible. Yeah, Sacred Heart starts pretty good. I'm starting to think that I don't have that mod that allows you to... Uh, that allows you to get modded items on Eden Starts. So I might have to go get that. I didn't know I needed it, but apparently I do. And we get the... Um, this thing. I actually don't want to use that. I don't think it's very good. I used it last time and I wasn't very impressed. Anyways, this is the sort of, sort of Eden start we need to get off of our losing streak. This should be a pretty quick run. Let's just not take a buttload of damage. Cracked Crown as well. To be fair, we don't actually get that much from Cracked Crown. We get one damage up. What in the shit is this? What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so we're going to come back to that. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I fire rate's actually really good as well for having Sacred Heart. Some good stuff. I like it. And we get a Soul Heart for free. You know I like that. And we get a Golden Key. You know I like that. Oh my god. This is absurd. This is the start we've been needing. Okay. More range is good. Um, what do I want to do in that shop? Because I don't think I can um, I can destroy like the donation machine. What I can do at least is do that. This is a real shame because there's a lot of very good stuff here. Um, I very much would like at least one of these items. But we ain't getting any of them. I think I'll just buy the Soul Heart and be very upset and go... It's like the best shop, and it's taken away the electric dice from me as well. I'm so upset. We're still going to go mother. <laughs> still going to try and go mother. <sighs> I don't know why I'm playing so bad recently. Like, modding definitely makes things harder. For, for, for one, there's modded enemies, rooms I don't know. For two, there's, um... There's... Like, lots of new items that change the dynamic of how we play. And three, there's obviously the introduction of some lag, which can definitely hinder my abilities. Wait a minute, is it just slot machines that this trinket works on? Slot machines, okay. It's just slot machines. I don't know if that encompasses multiple types of slot machines, or just the actual ones. I'm going to guess it's just the actual ones. Two of Swords. Oh, we might as well go in here as well. I love the fact that Stitches lets us get in here for free. It's so good. <laughs> Stitches is Stitches is underrated. So underrated. 
Donation machine. <laughs> you just stole a coin from me. You're really going to be like that? Are you really going to be like that? Hopefully this item room's a little better. Hopefully it does me some good. Lil Chad, no thank you. Chili Bean. Big sad. I need to I need to re-enable the mod. I disabled it for some reason, I can't remember why now. But there's a mod that makes it so you don't get as many actives. I need to change that because it's just so annoying. Birthright. Hell yeah. Spawns three items, only one can be taken. From random pools as well. Hell yes. Okay, we've got Hot Wheels, familiar that drives around when walked into, lights enemies on fire and break rocks, Mr. Medicine, or the Scorch Contract. Um, the Scorch Contract had some weird issues last time we had it, but it was the tainted version, I believe. Um, let's, let's, let's go for it again, because I do feel it was pretty good. Okay, so the tainted version spawns all of them. The normal version spawns one of them. This guy's still going to give us a ton of money, though, so I'm happy. Get him. Get him. Ah, Yeah, you got him. Nice one. Okay, you didn't give us any money for that guy, though. The cheap skit. Okay, give us some money there. Yeah, we just need some stronger starts to make, like, a lot less bad decisions. Oh, yeah, we're going to make some bank on this. Right, grab that. I think Devil Deal is definitely a grab right now. Honestly, Sanguine Bond is much better now. Much, much better. I'm going to try it out. It's not in this devil deal, but I'm going to try it out because I, I know that it's much, much better than it used to be. We got a pretty big buff. Um, I don't know what this will give us right now. Yeah, it's pretty good value, to be honest. Right, next floor. Okay, so apparently if I talk about things other than Isaac, I can't play Isaac properly. <laughs> that seems to be the case. Okay, we, we kind of need our bomb here. Um, I'm not going to take that at the moment, but I'll, I'll sort of think about it for later. There's some money there. Oh no, okay, so this one actually changes. It's just the, the tainted version gives you them all at once. This one changes the... Okay, I kind of like that. Oh, well, I was like, why is that bucket repelling my shots? Then I realized, wait a minute. There's a dude under that bucket. There's a fella under there. We need a key. We've got our bombs at least now. Come on, dude. No thank you with the big shooty ups. Wait for it. Give us a key. That's a pill. That ain't no key. Okay, I'm going to let you take care of those. You seem pretty well inclined to do so. Thank you. That's a penny. Come on, key. You can't be you can't be treating me like this. I need keys to live. That's a bomb. God damn it. Okay, Wormwood here. Wow, he just absolutely beasted on that fool. Ah, oh, no. I didn't even hit him with the bomb. That's so upsetting. Oh, but he's heading to the rock dude now. He's just punching everything. He's just punching all over the place. We got it. Sadly, we got the box. Does give us a key, though, at least. Does give us a key. And the old capacitor is kind of interesting. If I could hold two trinkets, I'd definitely take that. Right, um... We can at least go into our item room now, see what we got. It hurts. It's... It's not that good. Dry baby's better. Dry baby's better. Okay. Right, let's go get our fire. Cool. Can't remember what the sun card does. I'm just going to pop it. Gives us a bunch of damage. Nice. Oh, wait. Mirror room's up here. I'm stupid. Here you go, little mirror room. Okay, that that time the um, the map flipped. I don't know why it didn't flip before. Oh, there's a tinted rock there as well. One second. Hello, fat boy. The fact that, that gave us more bombs means I kind of want to go do my boss. 
Because if I can bomb him, it makes him much easier. And that's another bomb. I'm hoping to get a key from doing these rooms as well. Why have we got all burn hearts now? Did we have all burn hearts before? Did Dry Baby do that somehow? Did this little gluttony fella do that somehow? I don't really know. One minute, we should, um... Yeah, I'm gonna say... You can stitch just to destroy those. It's pretty... It's not super useful, but it's pretty useful. Yeah, I don't know why I got all burn hearts, but I'm happy about it. Oh god, careful, careful, careful. We're good, we're good. There you go, he's dead. Very easy. Sadly, not a very good item, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Right, let's go. You can probably look for a secret room here as well on this floor. It would be fairly easy for us. I don't know where exactly it would be, I'll be honest. Could be here. Yeah, we've got all burn hearts permanently now. I suppose that's pretty good. Probably go open our stone chest in our thingy room as well. Chance for a fat, powerful fart shot. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? God damn, I love Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart is the best. God damn. But yeah, on, on the topic of, uh, of pizza as well. So I was saying I had this great pizza yesterday. It was fantastic and I, I basically i had it because my girlfriend was out um for the night she was working so um i was like cool i'll get pizza then uh that's fine and um <laughs> she she came back she'd forgotten that i'd got pizza for my tea like i ordered pizza and she'd also got pizza um from like her boss had bought her it once she'd finished work uh like bought the whole team pizza but he bought like way way too much Wait, do we have empty vessel? What's going on right now? Why do we have flight? I'm confused. Oh wait, no, it's not empty vessel. It's um, it's the sun card. Is that probably why we have the burn hearts as well? I think it is. Um, but yeah, uh, and and she then like they, they had way too much, so she brought back just a mountain of extra pizza, and I was like, oh fuck. I've already eaten pizza, but now there's a garlic bread and two pe and two other like 12 inch pizzas. So that's my lunch today. So I, I, I'm getting a lot of pizza at the minute. I'm very happy about it. Got to admit, the non-tainted version of this is way more stable because it's not th all three of them at once. It's not as confusing. Not as confusing at all. Right. Got you. I'm here, fat boy. It's kind of an interesting room design. I like it. What you got for us? Ha, <laughs> kamikaze. No, thank you. How to jump instead. Ah, yes. God damn. These, yeah, I need to re-enable that mod. The active item spam is just bullshit. It's so annoying. What the hell is that? Oh, we've had that a few times before. I, I say that every time I get it. I'm always like, what the hell is that thing? I'm always like, oh yeah, it's that thing. We still need to destroy some slot machines. I've not destroyed any yet. I want to see if um, if it does four times doubled. That would be hilarious. Definitely grab that. Do you know, I can take a big pill. I can gulp down a big boy. Let's look at this devil card. We're still absolutely wrecking each floor here. We're blasting through everything. God, dude, I, 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 I'm still, I'm considering it, but I might have to get rid of the Dumpies mod. It's just like, just because they can push you into spikes doesn't mean they have to. The rooms are brutal. If you got enough damage like I did then, it's, it's absolutely fine. But like, low damage runs that just kind of sucks. Um, I think we're good here, aren't we? Pop my devil card here. Good amount of extra damage. Go, stern boy. Smack him up. 
That's, that's another thing about, like, takeaways as well. Like, do, do any of you have, like, a proper comfort takeaway? Like, and I don't even mean specific type of food, like a specific place. Like, um, back at home, where, like, and by home, I mean where my parents live now. Um, it's in a different city, so whenever I go back there, I always get this place called Star Pizza that's just incredible. It's like, it's such a, like, a shitty, greasy takeaway, like, pizza takeaway, but I don't know, it's just, it's some, it's something else, it's something different. I don't know what, what it is, but compared to where I live now, it's so much better shitty pizza. And sometimes you just crave a shitty pizza. Sometimes you just want that grease, greasy food. It's like, we, um, back where I used to live in Hull, we had this thing called Hull Fair, and it's like the largest, mo the largest moving fair in Europe. It's, it's, it's huge. Um, do you know what? Let's, let's play Sanguine Bond a little bit. Um, yeah, it's like the li largest moving fair in, uh, in Europe. And it comes to us every so often. Um, and it was great, yeah. And, and there they have just like a bunch of food vendors selling chitty food. And it's, it's kind of great. Oop, the pentagram. Already pretty good. Uh, Jello. Did we just get two items back to back? There's some damage up as well. I can't remember what, uh, what health we have lying about. But I'm going to go kind of hard on this. This is incredible. This is incredible. What the hell's this? Death's list? This is nuts. What have we got now? Rotten baby? <laughs> oh my god. One more. One more. Okay, let's get out of here. I thought we had quite a lot of hearts lying around. That 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 was nuts. That was there's apparently a heart in here somewhere. Where? Where? Bish, where? Also, conjoined is so good with what we've got going on right now. Temperance machine. We can bomb that at least. Okay, that definitely dropped extra. It definitely works on temperance machines too. <laughs> okay, so Sanguine... Oh, it's behind this dude. That's why. If it's still open, I'm going back. It's not, unfortunately. Okay, Sanguine Bond is legit one of the best items in the game. <laughs> if you have health, it's so good. I really want another devil deal. Sanguine Bond, the MVP. It gave me so much extra damage as well. And a rotten baby. It gave me like, it gave me like four items. I think two of them were actives, but even still. Good, good. Sadly, yeah, with the with the Sacred Heart Herming, there isn't much chance of us getting Death's List very often. In the bigger rooms, especially. Thank you, driest of fellas. Okay, you managed to kill that dude. Thank you. Where are your stitches? There you are. That worked that time. And give us a soul heart. Good. God damn, we're getting keys out the wazoo as well. Extra bombs. Good, good. There we go. That's our next button. That is a door mimic, if I've ever seen one. That's a rainbow chest. Foul gut? Um, I don't want foul gut, to be honest. It's good, but right now we've got too many normal heart containers for it to be valuable. Right, let's crack this open a few times. There you go. That's a lot of luck. My god. This is a good run. This is what I needed. This is the comeback I needed. This is the comeback 
I desired. Okay, this better not be another active, otherwise I'll cry. Okay, it's knockout drops. Good. Knockout drops pretty awesome with a setup. Oh my god. With this amount of luck, I didn't even think about it. We've got 9.28 luck now. It's actually incredible. It's actually incredible. That looks very secret Ruby to me. Two cards. Devil, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune's great for sanguine bonding, I think. Because we could potentially get a lot of hearts out of it. Some extra money. Got the money. It just keeps rolling in. There you go. Doubles damage champion spawn more often. I still I still think this is so OP. Even if every enemy is a champion, double damage is absurd. Especially with what we got going on right now. Sorry, Singe. There ain't no way you're living through this. Sorry, fella. No devil deal. That's an oof right there. That's an oof. Make sure that door opens. I just like to open that early just so, like, I remember to go in it. Right. Go get our next knife piece. I know this is going to be a long episode, but I don't think you guys mind the long episodes, do you? It's kind of part of the fun, really. More topics to talk about. More OP runs to see. Let's go do it. Let's go do our mother chase. Just remember there's new layouts. Internalize the new layouts. This is definitely a new one. Tinted rock there as well. That's kind of nice. This is also a new one. I love the fact they added new ones, I gotta say. This is a new one. I don't think I don't think this one's new. And I'm pretty sure this one's new as well. And I don't think that one's new. Grab grab. There's a soul heart there. Oof. Okay, good. Managed to bait him out nicely. I'm pretty good at this one. Go. Charge away. I do get pretty low FPS in this area, I gotta say. I don't know what it is with my FPS, like my the, the mods that I use or whatever. But they cause some issues. Okay, we're out of here as well. That one was relatively quick. And there you go. I think we're out. Good stuff. Not too hard at all. That area still scares me to this day. It still always gets me worried. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's get to the mausoleum. I'm really hoping we get another devil deal that can go just like extremely hard into the sanguine bond. Because that's the first time I've ever made it work since the new update. And it is amazing. Got our knife. Good to go. I've never had a door mimic on the first room. I don't actually know if it's possible. Be interesting to see if it is. Solar Cade across a gap. I mean, I could stitch just to get it, to be fair. Two of ones. Two of ones. Easy. Your health is looking fine as well. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Good, good. Stay out of the way of the brimstones. Dad's key, no thank you. Luckily not another active, but still not great. I'll take these, why not? There's a sack room here as well. Sack room could potentially be good. Oh, we actually did it in order and got a shot speed up. I don't think shot speed is really what we needed because uh, we got heavy herming, but it's accepted. Don't know why those dumpies aren't moving, but okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Pushing things around like that's so funny. C. 
save us some money. Oh, we got a soul heart out of that too. Nice, nice. Oh, come on. Sanguine Bond. Just work with me here. It's all I've ever wanted. Oh my god. Just destroying everything. <laughs> Solar Blue Baby there as well. The luck as well means we're getting so many chest drops. Hello, goodbye to you, sir. And you as well. There's no way you're stealing anything from me. No Devil Deal, a 72% chance. That's a big oof. Right, next floor. This one's gotta be Devil Deal. It's got to be Devil Deal. Apollo. Ooh, I love Soul of Apollyon. I'm glad I'm still seeing the Soul Stones reasonably often. I thought with all the new cards and stuff, I'd end up, like, barely ever seeing them. I'm seeing him enough to be happy. Oh, we've got a soul of Lilith here as well. Companion cube. Thank you. Another rainbow chest. It's a lucky day. It's a lucky day. Plus 10 bombs. Great. Right. I don't think we need missing poster. We've got plenty of keys to work with here, so keep going on this. That is a rainbow heart right there. I do like those. Item room here gives us hot bombs. Nah. I, I guess even if it was a thingy. Ooh, this is a, a blazy item though. Do you know what? I'm taking it. I love this item. It's basically Bob's rotten head, but better. I like the idea. Bedside Queen. Wait, is that... Spawns... Okay. Just a bunch of keys. Seems very good. Yeah, no thank you, fellas. Yeah, so we can use this as like a, a burning Bob's Rotten Head. <laughs> the amount of champions is hilarious. It's so huge. <laughs> Why is it so massive? I don't know, but I like it. What the hell have we got here? Spinning wheel is an interesting one. Ah, so it spawns with a random teleporter each time. You can only get one side. But yeah, spinning wheel is going to do this for us. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yes. The fists of fury. They never stop. The fists of fury never stop. Oh my god. Okay, so we definitely want to go Devil Deal first here um, and Sanguine Bond a little bit. Some extra damage there. Extra damage again. Some Black Hearts. Leviathan Transformation. Some of that, there you go. Some more pennies. My god, one more. It's just incredible, isn't it? Starvation. Let's try starvation out. Why not? Let's get rid of these burn hearts. Oh, that did lose us quite a lot of damage, though. Let's not. Holy hell. Uh, we got up to just about 100 damage here. Why did I not take that? Um, qu <sighs> this is such a hard choice. Quad shot's kind of interesting, but it would lower our fire rate a lot. Um, I think continuum's the way to go. Extra range. Extra colorful tears spreading throughout our screen. I think we can just stand here. Pinwheel. And away we go. This is beautiful. This is what I live for. The Fists of Fury. They know no bounds. <laughs> Nothing can touch me. 
I was kind of hoping for some HP drops by now, though, I gotta say. Yeah, gotta say, I was hoping for some HP drops by now. I'd love to show off this this item by Blazy, this, this burning head item, but I'm just killing things too fast. Look at that. You think you can step to me? Away we go. <laughs> the camera's like, what's going on here? Why aren't you moving? Well, that was uh, a wild ride. A very wild ride indeed. I will be on my way out of here now. I love spinning wheel. Spinning wheel's so fun. It's such a stupid item. I'm so glad they added in the buffer so you can tap shoot it if you don't want to get the spinning wheel effect. It does make it a little strong. I'd maybe change the buffer frame so you get so the tap shoot's a little less easy to use, maybe. I don't know. I think that might make it too bad. But like the situations like this. Oh my god, my eye. Sorry. Itchy eye. Y'all know the deal. Go, spinning wheel. And now we have Leviathan for permanent flight as well. A wheel of fortune, you say? I mean, dude. Just give up. There's too many fists for you. Yeah, wheel of fortune plus this trinket. So good. Probably wait until all these fists disappear. If they're ever going to. They literally just keep going forever, I think. I think we have infinite range. Rainbow Worm would be pretty funny. Gotta admit, Rainbow Worm would be pretty funny. Let's see the shenanigans that end up going on here. My god. I'll still take this, though. Dad's charm's pretty cool. I like it. Hello. Goodbye. We got some stat increase there, some more shot speed. Again, don't really know how necessary the shot speed's gonna be, but I'll take it. These enemies annoy the hell out of me. Just, just stop. Stop being you. There you go. You did a good job. Oh, what the flippity flip just happened then? Hello, Rotgut. <laughs> Hello, Rotgut. Hello, Rotgut. <laughs> Goodbye, Rotgut. Ooh, Dad's lost coin for a bit of luck upgrade. Hey. Amazing. This is stupendous. I love this. And we're back. It's kind of crazy that we're also back at full health as well. Just punch and run. Punch and run. Yeah, I, I really think the golden belt is just obscenely strong for a shop item. Like, it's obscenely strong anyways, but I think it'd be fine if you made it, like, secret room only or something. It's just in the pool, in the shop pool, anything... Honestly, in my personal opinion, there shouldn't ever really be... Um, also, we got to take that at this point. There shouldn't ever really be any massive statistical increases in the shop. Like, Champion Bell already exists in the same space as this item, and it's a much weaker damage up. And even I think Champion Bell is one of the best shop items. So having a shop item that straight up doubles your damage is insane. Like, because even if every single enemy is a champion, that's kind of great because it means they can drop more shit. <laughs> and you can kill them just as easily because you have double damage. I think it makes, uh, it makes for a very, very overpowered setup. just a very strong item. Good 
by leeches. It's been nice. What the hell have I got here? Who knows? There was enemies in there at one point. Okay, Nurse Goblin here should do a pretty good job. A very good job indeed. Beautiful. This is just so fun. I love I love setups like this. They're just the the best. And you are a goner, sir. You are a goner. There you go. <laughs> a nice mother win. And we kept the episode under an hour somehow. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a great episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.